So it's going to be jam packed downtown Corpus sure Christi. And today is the final day of early voting for the May 6 election. And some of the items on ballots in our area have already generated a lot of interest. Free News anchor Mike Gillespie here now with some uh, look at, at some of the issues that voters are going to be facing at the ballot box. Mike, you know, Rudy, Leslie, in many Coastal Bend communities, voters are looking at either who will run their city government, who will run their school district and whether to give a thumbs up to school bond proposals. Now, in some places, they're doing all three. Earlier today, I spoke with Pamela Hill, who is the San Patricio County Elections Administrator, and Hill tells me that as far as early voting is concerned, you'd like to see at least 10% of registered voters show up ahead of Election Day. Well, through Monday, that is exactly what has happened in the Gregory Portland area. Not only are there several city council spots up for grabs in Portland, but voters are also electing school board members for GPISD and deciding on a more than $175 million school bond. A similar proposal failed to pass last November. In Odom, 11% have turned out so far for early voting, where the office of mayor and all five aldermen spots could be occupied by new people. The Odom Edroy ISD also looking to pass a more than $15 million school bond. But one of the big winners in early voting so far has been Bishop where 16% of the registered voters have already made it to the polls. At stake there are spots for mayor and all five council members, as well as four school board trustees. Now, one other race that has received lots of attention, at least on social media, is the race for mayor in Aransas Pass. It is one of several items to be decided. Through Monday, about 8% of the nearly 5,800 registered voters there had already registered their preference. Rudy. Mike, and don't forget, Election Day is this Saturday, May 6. 